Hey guys, in this short video, let us learn about men's syndrome, different types of men's syndrome, the chromosomes involved, the organs involved with the help of this pie diagram. This is from uh, first aid actually. This picture is from first aid. So let's get started now. Men 1 is otherwise called as Wormer syndrome, whereas men 2 has two divisions, 2A and 2B. 2A is Sippel syndrome and 2B is men 3 and men 4 syndrome. So these are the four syndromes that you need to know. Coming to the chromosome numbers, men 1, double it, 1 and 1, that is chromosome 11. Men 2A and 2B are for chromosome 10 and men 4 is chromosome 12. So these are the chromosomes. First is 11 and then 10 and then 12. So these are the chromosomes in that order, men 1, men 2A, 2B and men 4. Now coming to the discussion of individual men syndromes. Look at this circle guys. First circle is about men 1. And the second yellow one is about men 2a and the third green one is about men 2b. Let us learn men 4 separately. Now let's get started with the first one which has pituitary, pancreas and parathyroid. Have to remember where to place these organs in this pie chart. First remember parathyroid and thyroid are anatomically also closely related. So you have to put them together in the middle circle parathyroid and thyroid comes. And topmost organ in our body or topmost gland is pituitary gland right like superior one so first you have to place pituitary and parathyroid and thyroid should be together then the leftover one is pancreas you need to remember in that way or otherwise you can also remember it like para pan pit in this order like towards upside you have to write para pan and pit this is the mnemonic given in first state like para pan and pit but I found it easy to remember parathyroid and thyroid glands together. So at one place, men 2A is done, right? So men 2A is having parathyroid and thyroid, you already know. You just have to add one more P, which is pheochromocytoma. Okay. Now, men 1 is about three Ps, as already discussed, para, pan and pit, right? So when we talk about parathyroid gland, it is 90% involved, guys. So if a person is diagnosed with men 1 syndrome, 90% of chances of parathyroid gland involvement is there. Coming to pancreas, in pancreas also most common tumor that is involved is gastrinoma and the gastrinoma's most common site is duodenum when associated with MEN1 syndrome. And pituitary gland, the tumor is prolactinoma. In pituitary, there is one important point that you need to remember that whenever pituitary is involved, only anterior pituitary gland is involved but posterior pituitary is spared in MEN1 syndrome. Only anterior pituitary is involved. Now coming to men 2A, which is otherwise called as Sippel syndrome, right? So Sippel syndrome has two P's in it. So the syndrome also has two P organs. One is parathyroid and the other is pheochromocytoma. And the remaining one is thyroid, which is medullary thyroid carcinoma. So in men 2A, medullary thyroid carcinoma is involved a lot. That is 90%. Then comes pheochromocytoma 50% and then is the parathyroid gland. Whereas in men 1, parathyroid has most importance. In men to medullary gland has most importance. Now coming to 2B. 2B is all about M's guys. So megacolon, mucosal neuromas, medullated corneal fibers, morphonoid habitus. So everything is about M's in men 2B or men 3. So all M's and 1P. That 1P is pheochromocytoma. So basically you need to have this flow chart in your mind. First is the first gland pituitary. And parathyroid and thyroid should be together, placed together. Then remaining one is pancreas. And along with parathyroid and thyroid, there is another P in men 2A, that is pheochromocytoma. And men 2B is about this medullary thyroid, pheochromocytoma, along with all the M's, that is megacolon, mucosal neuromas, marfanoid habitus, and medullated corneal fibers. Now let us discuss about men 4, which is on chromosome 12. And the organs that are involved are pituitary, parathyroid and the genitourinary like renal, adrenal and reproductive tissue like testis, testicular tumors and adrenal tumors are involved and parathyroid is involved in MEN4. So in MEN4 you have to skip pancreas guys. You have to skip pancreas. Pancreas has only importance in MEN1 syndrome. Now there is one more point that you need to remember regarding prophylactic thyroidectomy. So when a person is suspected of MEN syndrome, if it is of men 2A, then prophylactic thyroidectomy should be done within 5 years. If it is men 2B, then it should be done within 1 year because of the risk of medullary carcinoma of thyroid. 
Now one more point that you need to remember is Vermeer syndrome and Werner syndrome. Vermeer syndrome is as discussed men one, whereas Werner syndrome is something related to progeria. Don't get confused. They give you options like Vermeer, Werner, Weber syndrome and all. You don't need to confuse because Vermeer has M E in it, which is men syndrome, whereas Werner is progeria. So these are the things that you need to remember in men syndrome, guys. I have uh, brought you few pictures and few questions related to men syndrome. Now let's solve them. Here is the question asking about which is not a feature of men four syndrome. So men four has already discussed pituitary and parathyroid is involved, but pancreas is excluded, right? Compared to men one and renal, adrenal, that genito urinary system is involved, so renal is there. Medullary thyroid carcinoma is something related to men two a and two b. So that is the answer, medullary thyroid cancer. Now comes the second question. A patient with medullary thyroid carcinoma is posted for surgery. He is nearly 6.5 feet tall and a slender build and elongated digits. So this indicates marfanoid habitus, guys. And he is having medullary thyroid cancer. And the picture there is showing mucosal neuromas on the tongue. So all the M's. This is something related to men to B, right? So for men to B, there is involvement of pheochromocytoma. So the screening test that you need to do is urinary catecholamine. So option D is the answer. Here is the third question for you guys. Which of the following is not involved in men to A syndrome? Answer to this question in the comment section below. And if you like this kind of content, please do like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And also we have a Telegram channel. The links to which are provided in the description below. I come up with daily MCQs, previously asked topics, and high yield sections from all the 19 subjects for NEET, PG, and NSET. You can follow me there in the Telegram channels. Thank you.